Hi, my name is Patricia. I'm an ESL teacher and I work at Bathini Mimi Mall School in Montreal. In this video, you will see a third grade class working with Scratch, an online interactive software. Scratch allows you to create your own short animated script. It involves programming or also coding, as we know, in the world of video games. I allowed myself to show them a short animated script that I had created. That was my idea to set the tone. I'm going to show you a project I did this morning. Oops, sorry. Okay. Uh, do you remember how we called this here? <coughs> What's, it's not an avatar, it's a synonym of an avatar. Do you remember? It's like the tree. The top. Yes, what is it, Becky? It's sprite. It's a sprite. Okay, you remember? And this is what? Oh! So, so we have a sprite. Good. And we need to choose the A. Background, yes. Good. Excellent. If you try to see, observe, and if you know the answer, you can tell me what are the moves of my sprite. Okay? Can you guess what are the blocks? Do you remember the blocks? Good. Ready? So, I'm going to click the flag to start my project. Remember? Okay, what did I do? I give orders, instructions to my sprite. Yes, Nia. Um, your sprite spin them and said wow. Wow, say wow, good. Spin? Spin, yes, is good, but for your blocks, you have a different action word. We don't have swim. It's turn. Turn. Okay? We saw that in your activity book. Turn and yes, I have my sprite move. Ten steps. And then I have, did you hear the sound? Yes. yes. It's like, what was the sound? You know when you are on the water and you're a scuba diver? That's the sound you hear. So the sound is pop. Okay? My first block is move 10 steps. My second one is sound pop. Then I did turn 15 degrees. 15, 100. Okay, that's the angle. Okay. You know what is an angle? Okay, that's the angle. Good. Then I have the action. What's this? I repeat. Oh, repeat. Repeat. Yes. So move, sound, turn, repeat. Then here, I didn't, what you saw was not something that my uh, diver was saying, it's something he was thinking. thinking, okay? So I used the word think and I changed wow, okay? Good? Yeah. And then I used the click flag start my project. Oh, sorry. Click flag. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. So that's my short project. First thing, uh, I'm going to give you a laptop. You remember the rules? Okay, so you wait in silence for your turn. You, when you have your laptop, you turn on the computer and you enter your username and your password. Okay, and you wait for instructions. For this activity, I decided to 
put students in groups of two for peer support, but also for oral interaction. Each team had a specific goal that was to create a short animated script. I also taught some specific language to use during the activity. So I had put posters on my board with functional language that each team could use when, whenever they needed. Here, I give you a paper on your desk. Okay? I want you to take it. It's this one. Okay? I want you to take this paper here. I repeat. Good. Now, take one person takes a pencil. Good job. Show me your pencil. Excellent. Perfect. Now, your challenge is to create a short project including the following. I want you to choose a sprite and a background. Good? Yes. You can choose an animal, you can choose an object, you can choose a person. What do we want? Then you make your sprite move. You're going to choose a move block. Move blocks are this. Uh, move. Motion. Okay? Then you're going to have your sprite say something. You're going to choose a sound. It can be drum. It can be pop. Different kinds of drums. And you're going to tell me how you start your project by going to Evan. Do you want to start your project by clicking the flag or the press the space button? Okay, so far so good? Now, you're going to have your sprite repeat the action. Good? They had to, each team had to follow specific instructions in the form of a checklist. This is a checklist. So make sure you have everything in your project. When it's done, okay, my part and my back is checked. Good? So what do you want your horses, uh, your unicorn to be doing? Uh, yeah. 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 Do you want to put the pony and the little girl to the back? We're going to go with him. Using Scratch during an activity in an ESL classroom was a challenge for me and for my students, but I recommend it. I could see stars in my students' eyes. They would speak English the whole time. It's been a fantastic project and they were all of my students were proud when they would watch their short animated script. They would say, yeah, I did it. Uh, I'm so proud, look at this, uh, look at my avatar move. They were amazing and I'm really proud of this activity and uh, the way they, it turned out. Mm -hmm.